Today we're talking about what is the meta for Warzone Pacific and there's a lot of different options to choose from and I want to go ahead and explain one unique issue with these Vanguard weapons that has made testing particularly more challenging and a lot of people I don't think realize from the outside looking in. When we go ahead and take a look at the STG here, we have the basic damage profile. Then we go ahead and add Vital as a perk. Now that essentially acts like a completely different weapon because you get a higher chest shot multiplier. Then we go ahead and swap out this to the short rounds for the 45 or the 30. And now you have a different fire rate as well as different damage value while having vital or not vital factored in the equation and each one of these modifications essentially makes it like a brand new weapon so even though they've added approximately 35 regular guns essentially they've added in almost over a hundred different weapons because of the way these different damage multipliers stack where you get higher head damage but reduced limb and then you got to go ahead and factor in a hollow point so you end up with significantly more combinations and it's almost impossible to tell what's broken until enough people have played that being the case we're still going to go ahead and jump in and talk about what is being most used and i'll give you a loadout for each of them if you enjoy the video hit the like button if you're brand new want to find your way back Double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. And just a heads up, this video is sponsored. Mech Arena has sponsored today's video to let you know about the brand new Mech Arena Championship. Ready to be a contender? The battle starts now. Hundreds of prizes, millions of mechs, $100,000 for charity, absolute mayhem. Sign up, shoot mechs, and win your ticket to the Mech Arena Championship. 30 creators, 10 players, 8 teams, 5 winners. The prize? Drive a real mech and cause some real-world havoc. It's all starting now. We'll see you in the arena. Being able to use a real life mech would be insane. I am gonna be one of the 30 creators competing. So if you're looking to participate yourself, like you saw in the little video, it's really easy to get started. All you do is download the game, sign up, and then just start killing mechs, and you're on your way to make it in there. And along with all these rewards that are leading to a $100,000 donation for Able Gamers. Shout out to Mech Arena for making this all happen. So welcome back. We're gonna be talking about Warzone Ranked. I've covered this site before, and one of the unique features this site has is the loadout API, and it kind of gives you an idea of how often something's being used as well as the overall KD ratio of that item when it is grabbed from a loadout specifically in those scenarios if you land get a floor loot cooper carbine that's not tracking the stats it's whatever you grab from the loadout if you grab an overkill loadout it grabs it okay cool both of those were included if you grab a ghost loadout whatever the secondary is it tracks those stats and this gives us a good indication of what is really good why and we'll be combining loadouts with those so you have a good idea to not get left behind especially with how long stuff takes to level you don't want to be wasting your time on a weapon that probably isn't going to be all that viable at least until it gets updated so as we can see at the top of the board is the car 98 obviously people like modern warfare weapons but one of the unique changes that happened with the car 98 and a bunch of snipers they have increased flinch to account for that, um, the CAR-98 actually has a perk to offset that, which you can see in the loadout I have on the screen. And this is what I'm gonna be doing for all of those. So you can go ahead and kind of see the overall attachments, screenshot it, and kind of go from there. Because um, with these, normally you could just click on them and you can see the five attachments. But after talking to the people who run the site, they basically let me know that it's impossible with the current state to get all 10 attachments for the Vanguard weapons because it only shows five. Maybe they'll show them in a later date, but we'll continue going through. So you can see the automaton comes out on top. This is one of the most recommended weapons I said going into Warzone. I said, this is one you gotta level up because it basically has no recoil. It'll be the noob friendly gun. And typically uh, there's certain characteristics I look for for a new friendly gun and that checks them all off. It'll likely get nerfed at some point. It has one of the least amount of bloom from any of the Vanguard weapons. So that also makes it more user friendly because your shots go where you're actually shooting. Um, you can see the KD is relatively high, but this gun is chosen second most among all weapons from a loadout. And there's plenty of good loadouts, but there's a good one for you if you want to go ahead and take a look at that. STG, this is actually an STG is kind of one of those weapons that is multi-versatile because of what I talked about earlier where you kind of have like five or six different opportunities to build this gun a certain way. You can make it for close quarters, you can make it for sniper support, or you can make it for range. 
Uh, my myself prefer it for range because I feel like it's a little bit slow to a rifle up close um, with the exception of the Cooper Carbine that kind of takes the spot of the XM4 that we had when Cold War was integrated. So that is another great one, but we'll get to that. So STG, if I'm gonna use it for range, I'm gonna use the basic ammo, which you can see with Vital, stack everything for recoil, bullet velocity, accuracy and then pretty much the thing shoots straight and i'm able to hit my shots it does have a little bit slower fire rate at 600 rpm but it feels close enough to the ak-47 where it kind of in line with there especially if you're playing the vanguard only mode where you don't get the option to use some of the modern warfare stuff that's definitely a popular one because so many people probably already had it leveled and but as you can see there's a distinct difference in ease of use um, the STG is probably perfectly balanced. A lot of the weapons that we usually see at this 1.06 KD range or 1.0, 1.11, what we're seeing with the uh, MP40, a lot of those do not get buffed or nerfed. That's kind of the measuring point of where weapons need to be. Usually if a weapon's above, it will likely get nerfed until it gets to that point. And that's kind of the happy medium where you have a lot of weapons to choose from and there's not this large discrepancy. Then we get the Swiss, which we've been familiar with the Swiss for a while. That one's pretty much the same build, but I think that one's going to drop even harder because you're not going to have the opportunity to counter that flinch the same way you can with the Car 98. MP40, this is probably one of my favorite guns to use currently, especially when you use the blueprint. There is a blueprint in the battle pass that if you've gone high enough in the battle pass you will automatically unlock it and it comes with a perk vital uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if it's working but based off feel it definitely feels like this gun melts the mobility is amazing it has no recoil super easy to use and i would expect that as people get the right builds that this kd will actually shoot up and you can see the load out there if you want to go ahead and copy that more power to you now, when we go ahead and sort these by KDs, which get pretty interesting, obviously people don't have everything leveled, so it's kind of hard to compete with some of the MW options if people are playing the standard Battle Royale. So KD gives us a good indication of what people are using and how good players are actually using this and making this decision. And sometimes what happens is a gun could be just really good, so the KD is gonna be high, or it's a very high-skilled weapon, so average to below average players just completely avoid it. I don't think that's the case with the Cooper Carbine. I think it's completely nasty. I think it's free in the battle pass. People are leveling it organically from floor loot. It kind of feels weird as floor loot because it doesn't have a good build. But as you can see, the 1.70, insane KD uh, for that weapon. MG still performs very well. Um, and that loadout really hasn't changed. It's just an LMG, so it's kind of slow, hard to use. Uh, but if you position up, you're probably going to get a decent amount of kills per death, but not like an insane amount of kills because there is a lot of ground to cover in the new Caldera map. Even though it is slightly smaller than Verdansk in terms of scale, um, the verticality and the movement and the angles, it just everything feels a little bit slower, uh, even if you're using the Vanguard vehicles. Then we got the PPSH, which kind of received a slight nerf and obviously... Um, it, it did uh, need a nerf because it's way above that number that we were just talking about. Um, and I had a favorite build that I, I, I liked. The biggest problem with the PPSH is it has a lot of bloom. So even though uh, once that gets figured out and there's no bloom on it, this thing could be amazing sniper support, uh, just like the Cold War PPSH. Um, and it has a faster fire rate. So it's just insane. We already talked about the Automaton. The NZ, I, I think that one's a good weapon especially if you do controlled bursting. And what I mean by that is a lot of times with the, the some of these weapons, the first 10 or 15 bullets, pretty straight recoil pattern, and then they go woof, 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 craziness. NZ is one of those weapons where you feel like you got the hang of the recoil, but if you hold the trigger too long, it starts to get out of whack. I think it's much better as a sniper support. It takes a little bit more skill to use it at long range, um, and it can also be used as a close range option if you want it, if you build it all for mobility, um, as long as you're able to control the proper recoil. And you can kind of see the loadout for that. EM2, not much change with that. It does require a couple more shots uh, in terms of being able to get a headshot, next shot because of the damage values that they changed and they added more recoil, which is evident here. The KD dropped. You know what? They nerfed it. So the stats on that dropped because people still trying it out and their stats are slightly worse on a global scale then we have type 100 which got a huge buff and we're seeing the increase here so it's up to 1.19 i actually like the type 100 a lot i i don't like the the mag coming off to the side i think that's a little bit weird um obviously it's a world war ii weapon but 
it's kind of like, well, how the heck does that work? Like in terms of visibility, I, I'm not really a fan of it. I, I would much rather prefer the PPSH or the MP40, but obviously it, it's doing really well with the 1.19. OTS, um, still basically the same everything. They nerfed the mobility on Cold War weapons uh, with the stock uh, uh, with the stock attachment as well as just direct nerfs to the OTS as well as the EM2. So then you have that there. And then the MG42 is actually kind of crazy, um, especially uh, with the slight changes they made to it. Um, and you can deck it out. It just takes a little while to level, obviously. But once you get a good build, um, it's going to have very little recoil, relatively easy to use up to super long distances, maybe not over a hundred meters unless you're like just really good, but in general, it gets the job done. And then you can see the MP40. So that's kind of like the top 10 weapons I want to focus on. Obviously there's a lot of good shotguns, which people will come around to, I think are a little bit more niche for solos. Uh, we have secondary weapons, which really haven't made it out of the pack yet. Machine pistol in the top break, that's snake shots and akimbo here. Um, I would expect that as these get more used, they'll probably slip into the fold. And that's it for what I think you should be using right now. If you think there's an amazing loadout that's slept on, comment that down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.